Hi everyone, myself Dr. Jigar Shimali. I'm working as consultant nephrologist and transplant physician at Shelby Hospital Ahmedabad. So today we are going to discuss on the topic of femoral pumpkin insertion and meanwhile we will discuss the importance of anatomical landmark and intervention nephrology. So this is all about 61 year old male who is known case of diabetes, hypertension with history of CABG in the past and right now having chronic kidney disease and on maintenance hemodialysis. This patient had history of multiple AVF failure, also had history of left sided pumpkin insertion but that was removed due to history of significant recirculation. In that case bilateral neck and upper limb doppler was done and that was suggesting bilateral IJV total occlusion and non availability for any good site for AVF creation. Both lower limb Doppler was done and that was suggesting thrombosis of right sided femoral vein. So meanwhile patient was dialyzed through left sided temporary femoral dialysis catheter and plan was to create AVF near the axillary region with transposition. But as patient meanwhile developed left sided hemiparesis that plan was deferred. Meanwhile there was leakage from the temporary femoral dialysis catheter around the insertion site and loss of outflow from both the catheter port. However, still the inflow was adequate. So to salvage that catheter, guide wire was inserted to remove the clot and flush with heparinized saline and bicarb was done and after that flow was checked but still outflow was not achieved. As temporary femoral dialysis catheter was not functioning well plan to insert femoral pumpkin was there. So first guide wire was inserted to the temporary femoral dialysis catheter and through that 16 French sheath was inserted and through that sheath inflow and outflow was checked and that was adequate. So after that confirmation femoral pumpkin was inserted through the same guide wire after removing the sheath. Here we can see the tip of the femoral pumpkin is there in the common femoral vein. Flow was checked but again same situation outflow was totally absent. So dye study was done and there was presence of clot near the tip of pumpkin. So again as the flow was not available the pumpkin was removed but as there was non availability of any other potential assess site further planning to assess creation was there immediately. So what was the issue? Issue was resettlement of clots near the tip of femoral pumpkin. So plan was made to puncture higher side. Why higher side? To avoid that segment of the femoral vein where clot was present due to previous temporary dialysis catheter. But to puncture higher side, the puncture side was through abdominal wall. So generally what we don't do that but it become possible with the radiological guidance in cath lab. So now I would like to discuss about one important anatomical situation and that is inguinal skin crease is usually where the inguinal ligament and femoral artery should be but in some obese patient there may be several skin fold below and above the presumed line of the inguinal ligament and making it at times impossible to locate the accessible site correctly and through that sheath was inserted and vein is dilated and over it pumpkin was reinserted. Here we can see the tip is there in the external iliac vein. The dye study from that newly inserted pumpkin through the abdominal wall and that was showing patent pathway. Here we can see the procedure where through lower abdominal wall femoral pumpkin insertion is started. So that was the place through which introducer needle was inserted and guide wire was kept. Through that guide wire now dilator is inserted 
to dilate the tract for femoral palm care. Here we can see that the subcutaneous tunnel is also formed over the lower abdominal wall and the reason was to avoid any affection of position while flexion and extension movement of leg. So here we can see that local anesthesia is given over the lower abdominal wall and through that femoral pump care is passed. Here a very important issue is there that uh, during previous insertion of femoral pump care the peel apart sheath was used. Many of the time peel apart sheath is available separately but during that procedure it was not available. So a 16 French sheath was used as a dilator. Now that sheath is removed and through that guide wire tip of femoral pump cat is inserted. Here we can see this guide wire is too long and it is routinely used in some of the surgical procedure say for example PCNL. Here the requirement of long guide wire was there and that was the reason to use this guide wire. That guide wire is passed through the tip of femoral pump cath to the port and we can see that the tip is inserted through the place that was dilated by that sheet of 16 French size. To mention this catheter was 14.5 French in size. Now the guide wire is removed and flow is checked inflow as well as outflow from both the pod and we can see the flow is very good. Related to this video the blog is written over the website www.globeindia.com. Thanks.